love this piece. It's finally finished. It took me a few days to complete. The reason is I was struck down with a stomach flu since last Saturday. That is a reason why I haven't been able to post before today. I'm, I'm just starting to get better so hopefully by next week I'll be able to post at my, reg my regular schedule. So for that I do apologize and this piece was done over several days just because I couldn't work for long periods. My head was pounding all the time but despite all that <laughs> I think this piece came together quite well. I'm not sure why I went the abstract way for this. As you know, the beginnings of my paintings usually are very intuitive, not planned. And so once I dropped the paint, I let it dry. I started seeing a tree, but I didn't want to tamper with the actual tree itself. So I figured the best way to do that is to bring it to the foreground by doing uh, a background that's suitable for it. And I think it works. I have a good mix of uh, organic shapes, lines, and I also wanted to introduce some uh, geometric shapes, like these are more precise, uh, you know, even outlines are very different than this. Yes, they're circles, but they're different. I do love the patterning inside the tree, which is subtle. So if you look at it from this point of view, there's less reflections. But when you start tilting it, you can see this kind of like starry-ish pattern. And that's created by the silver paint that's been dropped into the wet paint. And because silver paint is uh, composed of mica flakes, of course, it doesn't move as much. So. I, you know, you kind of dump it there, it moves a little bit and then stays there and it moves in a very uneven way, which I really like. So I love that. The third circle, um, I had planned on being identical to the other two, but I, the lines were different. And so I couldn't give them the same treatment as I did to the other two. So what I did to circumvent that is that I added the rose golds and that kind of makes it I find a good seamless trunk going into the tree. That's how I, I see it. Uh, of course, this word being abstract, I know others will see something different other than a tree. And if you're one of those, please leave your findings in the comments because I love reading how people interpret my artwork. It's always interesting to read. I do also, I did, <laughs> I do, I did, um, added I did add, oh my goodness, I'm sorry guys, I'm struggling still. Uh, I added a double line here because I thought that the single line was a little bit too weak for the heaviness of this piece. There's a lot going on there. Okay, so now I wanna share a super good news and I think a lot of you will be happy as well. Patty's Rose Gold, this, this famous Patty's Rose Gold which is the best rose gold in the world, will be available online. Yay! Patty's not going into business. <laughs> She's delegated that to uh, a friend of hers, Sandra, who is going to actually make the paint with Patty's recipe. And Sandra's going to sell that in the store. She's going to sell half bands at her store, which is called Paint and Paper Studio. I will leave all the links below. Just keep in mind that the paint is handcrafted, hand mulled, and she can't produce large batches at one time. And so she will keep updating her store. She will probably let me know when she does so I can tell you. But it will be first come, first serve and don't get upset if it's not available. <laughs> it will be eventually, you'll get your turn. So that's one of the good news that I wanted to share. Next, I'm gonna give a big shout out to three special people, Patty Tolly Parish, Teresa Redman, and Christina Werner. These three are tied together in a very interesting way. So backtrack to uh, many months ago, Patty asked me to come and teach at her art retreat that she organizes every year in Maryland. And of course I said yes. And while I was there, I met this couple, two amazing people, Teresa and Randy. Teresa interned, I uh, talked to Christina Werner about my YouTube channel. She liked the technique that I had used for the Traveler's Notebook when I made multiples of them. And actually these were the notebooks that I gave away at the retreat, which is, it's everything is tied together. 
so uh, Christina liked the technique and she wanted to adapt it to her form of art. She made a beautiful card with it. She's very talented. She's a graphic designer. And what Teresa and Patty and Christina don't know is that Christina I have met 10 years ago. <laughs> she doesn't know me. I knew of her. We weren't introduced or anything, but our, our paths have crossed during a stamping convention. And I knew of her because I admired her work. I, I used to be a stamper myself. And so, of course, every stamper knows <laughs> about uh, Christina's beautiful craftsmanship and her cards are amazing. Anything that she does is beautiful. So I was very honored when she put together this awesome video talking about my art in such a thoughtful and beautiful way. Thank you so much, Christina, for sending me all these people to my channel. I'm very grateful for that. Thank you, Teresa, for this beautiful act of kindness. And thank you, Patty, for putting us all together. So awesome people in this world. That was a long outro. <laughs> I just couldn't leave without thanking all these amazing people that I keep meeting on this artistic journey of mine. It's been incredible. I hope that you have enjoyed this process video. I hope that it will inspire you to create. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them below. Also, don't forget to check out all the links that I will provide in the description right below as well. You just have to click on show more. And if you scroll down a little bit further, you'll see the supplies list as well. Well, you will find the link for this Patty's Rose Gold. <laughs> Cause gold, right? makes us sing. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them below. Also, if you haven't done so already, make sure that you hit that subscribe button. I want to say a huge thank you to my awesome patrons for supporting my art over at Patreon. Have a super fun and creative weekend and fingers crossed I will see you on Monday. <laughs>